Everyone's failed shots. Back at it with another leveling guide. This time it's for Paragon leveling. I had a different video schedule for today, but I'll go ahead and release it tomorrow because Paragon level is of utmost importance. Many of you know that the server has a Paragon level. So based on how far above or below you'll actually get increased or decreased experience. And also there are different hell mode stages that uh, require different levels. You have hell one, hell two, which require different Paragon levels to access the gear, like the one I have in my inventory right now, because hell two requires Paragon 30. Now, in order to access some of the set items, get increased stats, you're gonna wanna reach those higher Paragon levels. And so we need to figure out how to level as quickly as possible. Now, I am Paragon rank 14 right now, and that is the highest on my server currently. And so I'm gonna give you some of the tips that I've been using to actually properly farm the fastest XP routes as humanly possible. Let's jump into it. Now, if you've seen my 1 to 60 leveling guide, there's going to be a few things that remain the same. By this time, you're probably going to have your battle pass maxed out. So you cannot take advantage of the increased experience boost that you're going to be getting from this. It's going to reset weekly. And so that'll be a nice boost the first day or so of the reset. But after that, you're going to have to rely purely on grinding certain areas of the game. Now, you're going to have your bounties, which actually don't give you a ton of experience, but in my opinion, are generally worth doing only just for uh, some other various loot rewards and things like that. Now, we're going to be balancing some of the things when we're talking about Paragon level, because in order to get access to the higher tiered sort of situations in terms of getting access to Hell 2, you're going to need higher combat rating. Otherwise, you're going to get one shot. So the method that I'm going to go ahead and show you later on in the video, which I highly recommend you stick around for, because it is in my uh, experience, the fastest way to get experience is going to require you to actually have a decent combat rating. If you're paying, it's going to be easy for you to get that. If you're not, then you're going to have to grind several other areas first. And we're going to start with the first area, which is obviously the ones that are very common, uh, and that's dungeons. The reason you're going to farm these dungeons is one, you're going to get experience. You're going to get triple stat gear so occasionally, very occasionally, and that's going to boost your combat rating. On top of that, make sure you're doing all the other different areas of the game, like the Heliquary and everything else that will boost your combat rating. One other such area is something that I'm actually in right now, and that is going to be the Library of Zoltan Cool, cool. I'm not sure how you say that last word, but basically when you're on hell one, you can do this event right here, this lost page collection, which will allow you to get access to certain bosses, which will give you gems for your legacy of the Herodrim, which will give you more damage and life, which will help you get into hell two, which is the ultimate goal. So between the lost pages, getting extra gems, doing the uh, basically meta events around the map, which get you get access to when you reach hell one, and that's going to be uh, things like this pools, Philoshcraft Hydra, or if we go ahead and just hop over to a different map here real quick, I can go ahead and hop over to the Ashwold Cemetery. We will see that there is going to be a different event uh, called the Haunted Carriage that pops up as well. Now, all of these events are different times during the day, and unfortunately, there isn't a full list on the times uh that are out now you can see here actually the haunted carriage is up uh so that is one of the events that i'd recommend you do along with all the other different maps that have the unique events now all of that stuff is going to help us basically increase our combat rating get extra loot and overall upgrade our character for the ultimate uh way to level and i'm going to go ahead and show you the clip of me doing that now so we've gone ahead and gotten our combat rating to the 1000 mark, probably at the minimum. In this video, I'm about to show you this clip. I have uh, the same amount of combat rating I have here, 1100, which is probably still uh, iffy. I could still die. And I did one of the times I was actually farming this method, but it's very critical that you get that combat rating to at least a thousand. If you are vastly, vastly lower than the enemy's combat rating, you will just take massively increased damage and you'll get one shot. It's just how it is. So if you increase your damage in life and then you have to increase your combat rating here with the methods shown previously, Get that combat rating up to about 1,000 to 1,100, and the monsters in Hell 2 are actually 1,240. So if you happen to get to that rating, it'll actually be even faster. So keep that in mind when we're talking about this method. Now, I'm going to pull up the clip here uh, where I'm actually farming this method. Actually, before I do that and show you completely, I'm actually going to show you on the map here 
where I was exactly. So you can see here in this hidden alcove between this corridor and this alcove itself, the monsters spawn in time to keep up a infinite kill streak, which is very, very important. Now, you're not going to want to stay infinite amount of time with that kill streak because you're going to want to be picking up your monstrous essence, and that is a huge XP bonus when you turn in 10 of them. So you're going to want to keep up the kill streak between this corridor and this alcove for the amount that you actually get 10 monstrous essence. Now, in this clip, I actually had a party of four uh, in some parts and a party of three in other parts. And so they actually were in this corridor clearing out monsters and sometimes join me in the alcove to help me clear out monsters. Now, that is very, very important in order for you to keep up the kill streak. If you do happen to take a break I, in this video, I was very, very tired. <laughs> it was, I was recording an hour ago and I just woke myself up. Um, and so I was actually falling asleep while farming. But if that does happen to you, you can, your party members can keep up the kill streak and give you a lot of loot. This is not loot light, I guess you could say. You do get a lot of loot from this as well. And you can see here, I'm at a 61 kill streak. We're running in circles around the uh, alcove here and just picking up the gold. I have party member one, number one and number three. They're coming in and they're helping me out. You don't even need this many. Honestly, it's kind of inefficient. You could have one to two. I think two is as efficient as you'll get. Having three or four is not bad necessarily. It's just that there's a lot of downtime if you all want to remain in the same area. Oftentimes you should spread out if you're going to run three or four because one to two is already enough to make sure you're running through and killing. And you can have your party members join up with you if a yellow does spawn, like in this situation, a yellow did spawn and they ended up coming and helping me kill it out because my combat rating isn't quite high enough to do it effectively. And so they did end up helping me out because their combat rating, uh, although it is quite low as well, like mine, we managed to go ahead and finish it off. Now, if you are paying and you do get to higher combat rating, this method is going to be much, much faster. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead just to show you some of the potential of this method. If we go ahead and skip to the end, to closer to the end here, I'm at a 274 kill streak, 281 here. Now, I've gotten this kill streak up to about a thousand uh, just in sort of like practice. I ended up capping out my monstrous essence, so I ended up stopping there. And I wanted to make a video about it because it is basically infinite. I mean, the monsters respawn, so you can just go ahead and farm them again. Now, if you get too high of a combat rating, uh, it might be a problem. <laughs> you can see here, I was kind of falling asleep on my computer. I was running into walls, um, but um, overall, this method is absolutely amazing. We're going to end the kill streak right here. Um, and it's 36k experience. Uh, which is may not seem like a lot but you can see here i'm gonna pause it right there uh you can see here i'm at again server paragon level eight i've got 50 percent reduced rewards my total experience bar is 3.4 million and uh i have 750,000 total or 740,000 total experience gained right now that 343 kill streak we can just see on this timeline even though i was very tired we were at 1023 here and the kill streak started at let's see here kill streak started about five minutes in length so about five minutes i was able to get 36 000 experience uh just from the kill streak and then on top of that i was also able to gain the monstrous essence that i did get as well as gaining also the um experience from the monsters themselves now each mo one of these monsters drops around 300 experience so if we just Real briefly do some math here. We have 300 kills. We got 300 experience per, which puts us about 9,000 experience total, which is not bad at all. It's uh, actually quite good. Uh, sorry, not 9,000, 90,000. <laughs> I made a mistake there. Uh, so we killed 300 monsters. We get 300 experience total. So we got 90,000 experience on top of 36,000 bonus experience. So that's 120,000 total on top of whatever monstrous we, essence we got, which ended up being about three or four. And that's going to be about 30,000 experience as well. So in total, that's going to be about 150,000 experience per five minutes. Again, if we just go up a little bit, it's going to be 50 minutes for 1.5 million, which means about an hour and 40 minutes for 3 million. And so about, you could say, uh, about two hours for a full Paragon level from 14 to 15. Now, obviously, the XP reduction goes increasingly 
more and more the higher you get which means that you're going to get reduced experience as you go higher but getting a paragon level in the matter of two to three hours is actually quite impressive now it's not going to be always the same because you're going to have people in here messing up your run sometimes and that may drop the experience rate especially if you have someone in here that's not in your party uh, so keep that in mind as you're going ahead and killing these monsters but this is kind of the experience rates that i've managed to acquire over the course of uh, a few basically clips and, and a few runs myself these are not obviously completely ironed out i don't know if i do this over the course of eight hours that i'm gonna get the same experience rate this was over the course of 30 to 40 minutes so go ahead and test it out yourself it is significantly increased from dungeons though i can say that for certain i've run hundreds if not actually i've run thousands of dungeons at this point uh because that's what i was doing to level previously and this is so so much better you're gonna get less loot and not set items or chance at triple stats uh all that often but it's overall just a way better way to absolute blast through paragon levels which i think is the most important thing to do especially to reach that 30 which is the crucial the critical points uh for the next step in progression so hopefully that all gives you an idea on how to blast through the server progression i will have a video i actually recorded today for the efficient currency spending on what to buy in the shops if you want to see that out uh be sure to subscribe i will have future videos upcoming uh at least daily and be sure to check out the discord and check out aftershock united we are dominating the server and i continue to push at least server highest level every single day so that being said let me know how your grind's going in the comments down below let me know what you think about the paragon system because i know a lot of people have mixed feelings about it because this is a massive grind especially for players like myself who get affected the most but all that being said hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you for the next one